Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hunters of all ages and monsters of all stages, D.B. Sinclair and Jay Party here with the Wraith and the third team of hunters. I'm excited, Jay Party, to see what happens here. Absolutely, D.B. This is our newest squad we just revealed as well as our newest monster here. We're going to see some cool abilities and some neat tricks coming out of both sides of this game here. Jay Party, this is the Wraith, and she is a sneaky little assassin type character. You're going to see her using some abilities uh, called a decoy, a warp blast, supernova, and abduction. But before we get to that, let's see this team of hunters coming in from the dropship. Absolutely here and doing their trademark dive in from the skies here. We'll see if they get in any spots on the monster. And look at that, startled birds right off the bat here. And that's a big win here. Is that rain, the dynamic weather we've mentioned earlier, is going to greatly reduce a lot of the vision that they have on this map. So having an early indicator of the monster's direction is a huge win for this squad. Especially with the Wraith. She has that decoy ability which allows her to create a copy of herself and then go invisible. It makes her really hard hard to find. You see the hunters here using their abilities already to try and track the monster and get her locked down. You saw that acceleration field from Kyra. This is now Abe using that tracking dart pistol to track darts into the wildlife, which then if the monster eats them, the monster will be tracked as well. Yeah, great tool to mark an area and keep it locked down once you've moved on and left the zone to know if the monster has gotten behind you somehow. And look at that. They finally get eyes on the Wraith. We'll see if they get an early catch with this arena. This can be such a big win for the hunters if they can get a stage one monster. Look at it. And no, it doesn't go for the arena. J Party seeing that the Wraith is just on the cusp of the range of the arena gonna put that away and sees the wraith coming back is that the wraith j party or is that just the decoy decoy it is hunters on the move and i like what the trapper did there taking it slow keeping his patience knowing that it might not be the real wraith and he's right it wasn't so they're right back on the trail here of the real monster but they need to catch up to him he's just on the cusp of the mobile arena zone good work by the trapper to not waste that mobile arena as it, it does have a pretty big cooldown you're seeing the wraith using that decoy ability to send the decoy out to do her dirty work for her the decoy goes out and will attack and do massive damage to anything near it that's wildlife or hunters the same and at the same time the wraith goes invisible neat little trick jay party absolutely a very cool ability with a lot of functions both offensive and defensive here but the hunter's so close now it looks like cabot got eyes on the monster just as she's going in a cocoon and this could be a huge catch for the hunters they definitely want to get on the monster before she comes out of this cocoon yeah they can catch up to her as it looks like they did they could do damage as you see cabot using that rail cannon to do a little damage of his own the team leader leading the team into the firefight here does pop that cloak though to get away from those wild trap jaws. And the monster coming out of that cocoon with no armor. This is a huge win for the hunters. They need to dish the damage out while they can here. A very exposed monster. Oh, but here comes that supernova. And this is going to be the huge damage the monster needs to try to take down the trapper and bring that arena down with him. Doing a great job of chaining those abilities there. Used abduction to take the trapper away from the rest of the group and then pop that supernova to try and do damage. The damage dealer on the other side though is Parnell. Parnell using that super soldier ability to have extra damage of his own and finally the medic getting singled out from the wraith here as you see another supernova attack and the medic could go down at any moment and there she does. Yeah good play by the monster singling out the medic that's what you need to do stay focused. Ooh, look what he did there he used that oh using the decoy to distract the team while he stealths behind another character and goes for the pounce attack. Nice sneak pounce. Wraith not the only one with invisibility as you know the Support class has that group ability to cloak everybody around as he goes in for the res on the medic. Looks like he's going to get her back up and he does, but the support down on just a bit of health and not enough heals from the medic to keep support in the game. The Wraith getting so low in this fight though, down below two bars of health and I like this decision. She's staying real passive here. Knows the arena's coming down and there it goes. This is her escape time. She needs to get out of this fight, regroup, get some more armor and then bring the fight back at stage three. Clever move to sit on the edge of the arena and wait till it was done and there she goes. That's going to be another decoy. Nicely done to send that back to the Hunters as she moves on forward. Hunters on the move here with that acceleration field working their way through the caverns here. And oh no, look out! That's a Mega Mouth, Jay Party. Mega Mouth taking the Trapper into his gullet before the team finally gets there. But that's a waste of some serious abilities on the Hunter team. Yeah, huge time sink there. Getting caught by that Mega Mouth. They can be very hard to spot as they look like just a pile of rocks when they're not aggroed. Unfortunately, for the hunters that's going to greatly slow them in this fight and they need to catch the wraith before she can get to stage three still has a long way to go on this journey i love it jay party keep it a g rated for the kids a pile of rocks i've called the mega mouth a pile of other stuff before <laughs> those nasty creatures come out of no 
nowhere. Absolutely can end your game when you're not expecting it as a hunter. That's why you have to be so aware of your surroundings and really make note of the wildlife in your area. And that's what the Wraith is doing as she moves through the map. She's keeping note of what's around here. She's using that decoy to help her take out some of the wildlife. So by the time she's killed and eaten one tasty three meat, there's a tasty two meat waiting next door. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about the perks here. We're looking at our Hunter Squad in the top right section of your screen. You see that move speed perk on Kyra here. And that's a really effective ability for the Hunters. It allows you to really keep on the monster and keep him tracked here. Looking back at our Wraith here in the top right, you see the Ability Cooldown perk, and that is absolutely one of my favorites, DB. Allowing you to fire those moves off 50% quicker is such a huge win in teamfights. Hunter's on the move. You see in support there, that's Cabot with that cloak. Oh, but he's not going to be able to hide <laughs> from the plant. The plant, in fact, is not moving. How embarrassing. Cabot to the plant. On the move there is Parnell trying to get Cabot out, and he does. He's going to need a raise after that, Jay. Oh, and at the same time, the monster hits stage three. Such a brutal exchange for the hunters that have to double back to get their last squad member out of that plant. And now they're dealing with a final staged up wraith. Wraith on the move. Let's see if the trapper can find the Wraith. And look, there she is, Jay Party, trying to get that dart into her, but she snatches the trapper. Nicely done. Who's hunting who at this point, Jay Party, as the trapper is down to just a tiny bit of health, and the trapper goes down. Uh, doing this best he can to stay alive here until the rest of his team gets there, and they do. Thankfully, he didn't get knocked out of this fight completely, and hopefully Kyra can get him back in as she does there. Meanwhile, the trapper did a great job of tracking with the dart gun, so the Wraith is visible to the rest of the team that's going to be crucial in this fight here but the trapper being focused again the wraith trying to get the trapper down to two strikes and the trapper goes down oh the support they're trying to use that damage amp weapon but with the rest of the team not firing he's not getting a lot of utility out of that ability as you mentioned before jay party that ability cooldown bonus on the wraith so crucial right now being able to switch between those abilities back and forth running into the fight and being able to pop that supernova and do massive damage every few seconds. Uh, getting some really efficient supernova damage there, hitting at least two of the hunters at once there. That's not what you want. You cannot stay grouped here as the assault getting very low on health. Very low on health is the assault, but Kyra's in. She has a lot of heals at her disposal with that healing grenade launcher and the healing burst. But you can see the Wraith again on the supernova doing big time damage, trying to take the medic down to two strikes and the medic is down, Jay Party. Let's see if they can get her back up and back in the fight. That could be the difference maker right now. Medic down, but the Wraith at one hit point. He does not have a lot of steam left in this fight. And with three hunters still up, they're just laying on the damage. But look at these supernovas nearly endlessly with that ability cooldown. Oh, oh! Trapper tried to get the medic up, but the body was snatched with the abduction. Back in with the decoy and the Wraith wins! Trail. 
Things don't always go according to plan, Parnell. Yep, and that is why we have medics. Just glad I'm not in charge of this bunch of lunatics. Careful, Parnell. I'll retire one of these days. And give up all this fun? Like hell you will.
Things don't always go according to plan, Arnhem. Yep, and that is why we have medics. Just glad I'm not in charge of this bunch of lunatics. Careful, Barnell. I'll retire one of these days. And give up all this fun? Like hell you will.
five days. This is nuts. Come on, we've been in worse scrapes. Maybe. Things don't always go according to plan, Parnell. Yep, and that is why we have medics. Just glad I'm not in charge of this bunch of lunatics. Careful, Parnell. I'll retire one of these days. And give up all this fun? Like hell you will. Special little fuck you! Ah. 